Hello everyone! This is our second video about simple interest. Ito yung formula na ginagamit natin. I is equal to P times R times T. Where yung I, ito yung interest natin. Ito yung tubo kapag tayo ay nag-invest, nag-deposit, nagpautang, o kaya naman kapag tayo yung umutang ng certain amount of money. This is equal to yung products ng ating. This P, this is our principal amount. Ito yung initial or yung original na amount na dineposit or hiniram. And then, imumultiply natin siya sa ating rate. This R, ang ginagamit natin ay nasa decimal form. Kung nasa percentage siya, kailangan muna natin siyang ilipat. Of course, kapag mas mataas yung rate, mas mataas yung interest natin. Kapag mas mababa naman yung rate, mas mababa din yung interest na makukuha natin. And lastly, imumultiply din natin siya sa ating time. This is in years. Yung interest natin ay lumalaki habang tumatagal yung panahon. Ito lang yung formula na gagamitin natin for us to compute our simple interest. Then susunod yung ating F, ito yung ating maturity or future value. Ito na yung total amount na makukuha natin kapag dinagdag natin yung ating interest sa ating principal amount. Addition lang naman yung ating operation kaya madaling makuha yung ating maturity or future value. Ngayong familiar na tayo sa ating formula, let us have our example. This is our number 2. If you have missed our first video about simple interest, ilalagay ko na lang yung link sa ating description. Now we have this. An investment at annual simple interest rate of 7%. This is our rate. And then for 2 years, earned an interest of 11,200. Ang tinatanong, how much money was initially invested? Kapag ganitong word problem, kailangang aware tayo sa ating keywords. Para mas madali yung ating computation, let us start with our... Given values. Ano ba yung meron tayo? Balikan natin yung ating problem. Meron tayong simple interest rate of 7%. Sinabi na naman that this is our rate of interest. Kaya we represent this as our letter R. This is equal to 7%. And then gaya nga na sinabi ko kanina, our rate should be in decimal form. Kaya yung ating 7, para mailipat natin siya to decimal, dahil whole number siya, andito yung ating decimal point. Ang gagawin lang natin to convert to is we have to move two decimal places to the left. Kaya kung nandito tayo, we have to move one and then two. This is our new decimal point. At dahil meron tayong bakante, kailangan natin siyang lagyan ng zero. Kaya yung ating 7%, kapag nilipat natin siya into decimal, this is just equal to 0.07. Sulat natin siya dito, this is equal to 0.07. Ngayong okay na tayo dito sa ating rate, proceed tayo dun sa ating susunod na given. Meron daw tayong 2 years. Ngayon, this is our time. Kaya we represent it as our small letter T. This is equal to 2 years. And then, according to our problem, it earned an interest of 11,200. So yung problem natin, given tayo nung value ng ating interest. Kaya isulat natin to, we have our I, our interest. That is equal to 11,200 pesos. So with this, ano yung pinapahanap natin? Ano yung kailangan nating isolve? Tinatanong tayo kung magkano yung pera na initially invested. Dahil meron na tayong tubo, ang hinahanap natin ay kung magkano yung initial amount. And sa ating formula, that is our principal. So we have to solve for the value of our P. Ngayon na nailagay na natin yung ating given values, alam na rin natin kung ano yung sasolve natin. Now, let us proceed with our solution. Let us have our formula for interest. Yung ating I, this is just equal to the principal times the rate times the time. With this formula, ang kailangan nating hanapin ay yung principal. Now, let us work dun sa ating given values. Meron tayong interest, meron tayong rate, and then meron din tayong time. Dahil kompleto yung ibang values sa ating formula, kaya nating isolve yung ating principal amount. Para magawa natin siya, let us substitute our given values dito sa ating formula. We have our interest that is just equal to 11,200. Ipapalit lang natin siya dito sa I. We have our 11,200. This is equal to, yung P natin is still unknown. Ito yung inahanap natin. Kaya isulat muna natin our P. This is times. Yung susunod na value natin is our R. Yung ating rate, this is equal to. 0.07, kaya i-multiply natin ito sa 0.07, and then last sa ating formula, we have our time that is in 2 years. 
Since ang kailangan natin na time should be in years, wala na tayong problema dito, we write down our t that is just equal to 2. Now we simplify. Wala tayong magagawa dito kasi wala naman tayong operation dito sa ating left side. Kaya iwan lang natin siya at 11,200 and then this is equal to still unknown pa rin naman yung p natin. Ang kaya natin gawin ay i-multiply yung ating 0.07 kay 2. And that is just equal to 0.14 times our p. Then, eto lang yung value na kailangan natin kaso meron pa tayong 0.14. Kaya para matanggal natin siya, since ang operation sa pagitan nila is multiplication, then we divide both sides of our equation by 0.14. Kasi kapag ka ginawa natin to, yung kasama ng ating p, since pareho sila, if we divide this, ang sagot lang ay 1. And then, kapag minultiply natin yung 1 kay p, kaya we can simplify our right side as just equal to P. Then, i-compute na lang natin sa ating calculator yung 11,200 divided by 0.14. And that is just equal to 80,000. Pagpalitin lang natin yung ating left side at right side ng ating equation para mas presentable yung ating solution. Our principal amount P, this is just equal to, our unit is in pesos, this is 80,000. This is our original amount. Ito yung pera na in-invest para kumita tayo ng 11,200 in 2 years at a rate of 7%. Now that we have our final answer, let us do more. Compute din natin yung ating final amount. Itong F na to, this is our maturity value. Ang gagawin lang natin para makuha siya ay i-add natin yung ating principal amount sa ating interest. We have our principal amount of 80,000. Ang interest natin ay 11,200. So, ang value ng ating F, this is just equal to principal of 80,000 plus yung interest natin na 11,200. Then, ang final amount natin kapag inad natin ang dalawa, this is just equal to 91,200 pesos. Ito yung magiging pera after 2 years at a rate of 7% kapag ang initial investment natin ay 80,000 pesos. And this is the process kung paano natin kukuhanin yung principal amount at final value, kapag ang given natin ay ang simple interest, rate of interest, at time. Hello everyone, I am Sir Kenneth of STEM Teacher PH. Kung nakatulong sa'yo itong video na to, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa ating uploads. Bye!